Our next story is called Spot Follows His Nose. One morning, Spot went out for a walk. He stopped and sniffed. <laughs> What smells so nice? He asked. Spot went to the flowers in the garden. He sniffed. <laughs> no, that's not what I can smell, he said. His friend Helen came by on her bike. Hello, Spot. Why are you sniffing? I can smell something really nice, said Spot. But I don't know what it is. Mr. Kangaroo just cut his grass, said Helen. Maybe that's what you can smell. Spot ran across to Mr. Kangaroo's house. There was a big heap of grass cuttings in his garden. Hey, Spot! Mr. Kangaroo shouted. What are you doing with my pile of grass? I was only sniffing at it, said Spot. But it's not the smell I'm looking for. Spot's friend Tom lived in the next house. Tom was outside painting a fence. I wonder if it's the paint I can smell, said Spot. He went up to the fence and sniffed. <laughs> Then he coughed. <coughs> <coughs> That smells awful. Tom laughed. You've got paint on your nose now. Spot rubbed his nose clean. Anyway, it's time I went home, he said. As Spot went up the path to his house, the smell got stronger. He ran inside. Spot's mum, Sally, was polishing a table in the hall. Spot jumped up and sniffed at the tabletop. You've put your dirty paws all over my nice clean table, cried Sally. I'm sorry, Mum, said Spot. I've been smelling something all morning, but this isn't it. Why don't you look in the kitchen, Spot? said Sally. Spot ran to the kitchen. That's the smell, he shouted. There on the table was a plate of hot cookies. I baked these for later, Sally told him. But you can have one now. She smiled. There's nothing wrong with your sense of smell, Spot. No, said Spot. And there's nothing wrong with my sense of taste either. Thanks for the cookies, Mum.